Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, I've decided, as I've said, to keep these going along um, just as uh, just to keep you informed on the progress or lack of of this oil style of painting that I'm trying. I've only ever painted in acrylics before on, on, on figures and busts and uh, I'm trying the oils if you haven't seen any of those other videos on this one. This is the Emperor Commodus so Joaquin Phoenix from the film Gladiator. Uh, so let's get down to business. I've used my oil paints on the face. Uh, let me just try and turn this light off. I'm making a difference. Just I don't want. It. That's the only problem with you've got a a lot of lights on this type of skin. It tends to bounce off everywhere. So it's taken about two hours last night to to get the the actual facial base oils on over an acrylic uh, uh, paint. Uh, if you go back to the other videos, you'll see how that was well, not how it was done, but what was on it. Uh, I, I've, everything I'm doing here, I'm I'm taking off uh, Milan Dufex uh, videos. Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing new on here. It's just it's just me trying to understand how it, how the process works. Uh, I've done the hair as well. The hair is still wet uh, or hasn't dried out. I don't know what you know what you want to call it. It has that sheen on it. I'm hoping the sheen goes away. If not, uh, I might have to do something to to uh, take that off. Uh, I didn't use a flat brush on the hair because I needed to put getting deeper with the oils. So it uh, it was a case of getting in deeper, and that just took a while to actually. Um, work out how I was going to do it and I've blended in different colours of oils in there as well to try and match roughly uh, Joaquin Phoenix's hair in, in the film. I'm really chuffed how the how the oils oils have come. You might see a couple of bits on the face. That was there. I can't work out if it was either on there on the bust when I did it or if it's um if it's where uh, when I've sprayed the sprayed the facial tones through the airbrush, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. There's a couple of tiny tiny little crumbs in places. Again, it's all a big learning curve, and uh, next time I hopefully will get better on that. Uh, not done the eyes yet, lips, anything else, and the next stage when it's I'll give it another 24 hours to dry out, and I will start putting some glazes in them around the face just to get some more colours into the face as well but I really do think that greens work undertone has worked really well um, as I say I can't really stop the if I put the shade over it it's, it's too dark so you'll, you'll have to believe me until I get some photographs taken so the rest of this is still at the moment in the acrylic stage I'll be working maybe tonight on the neck chief as I say, if you're prepared to go through the different stages, only I mean, you just let the rest of it dry out, you know, and, and come back to it in a couple of days, do the next section. That is your only, I suppose. You, I've always thought it a drawback with oils, but the more you work with it, you realise it's it's not that much of a drawback because there's always stuff you can do. Uh, and if you if you've got two busts on the go, you know, you you might even want to go on to another one. Um, but no, I've I really enjoyed it. I, I thought. Uh, I thought the oils worked well. I'll give you a quick, I'll move them out to one side hopefully not without knocking them over. Uh, these are the oils I used on this palette. So Sorry for the clatter of paint brushes but I just wanted to show you the brushes. So I'm using my old acrylic, I've always painted, before my wet palette I always painted on, an, on a ceramic tile, you know like a kitchen bathroom tile. Oh, there we go. Uh, and that stood me in good stead but Obviously, the problem with that is with acrylics anyway, it dries out in the heat. So that's why I went to the wet palette after a couple of years ago. So the old friend has come back into use and uh, it's now a oil palette. So I've got that. These are the, these are the only brushes I've got in my collection of brushes because everything else is for my acrylics. And obviously it's a lot of what I do and I can't afford to stuff them up because uh, the, the solvents and the oils are quite hard on the brushes. So these were the two I was using. These, these were the other two I found. I needed a pointy brush and a flat brush. Again, go check Milan out. He's, uh, if you go back to my second video, I think there's a, a link to his channel, but it's Milan Dufek. 
so I put on very small amounts of uh, oil. I put uh, I put some uh, standard. Uh, it, I think it's still AK. I've got some Bob Ross stuff in, but it's still my AK bottle. And I put a bit of that in a a uh, couple of couple of milk bottle tops and put uh, one for cleaning out the dirty brushes and one with a bit of freshing so I would uh, get a bit of uh, paint I'd put through you know I'd, I'd go literally and put a group of blobs of paint across the across the tile and then uh, just just take a piece off with my 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 hooked pointy brush <laughs> that's the best one I've got and uh, apply it to the face and then blend it in with the flat brush but making sure each time you just going to make sure you you clean your brushes quite well if you're going to a different color because uh, you'll quickly uh, put other colors into the oils which you don't want so that's that's what I've used uh, ceramic tile some the good thing is with these you don't need expensive brushes cheap brushes will do you uh, but these were the only ones I happen to have on in my collection as I say everything else is either wrecked for doing doing bases and dioramas and then my really decent ones for for doing uh, acrylics so that's that uh, the oils I got I used to do the face was uh, it all came from a Naples yellow now again it's my own just where you know I just was playing around seeing what worked for me and uh, shadow areas were were burnt umber uh, and raw umber for a bit bit dark darker tones uh, mixed in uh, sometimes with a bit of a bit of uh, um, which one's this a uh, raw sienna and a tiny bit of sometimes tiny bit of magenta in as well so uh, and then other other toads put in in the actual highlighty type areas were some cadmium red hue and a tiny 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 amount uh, Milan does say how how blue can affect quite quite quickly and uh I, I, I took his advice and I put a teeny weeny bit of this cerulean blue in. Um, so I've got, I can't show you that on the palette. Oh, and obviously white came into play a lot as I uh, as I lightened it up as I went along. So they were all the colours I used on, on that. Uh, only in small amounts, small palette. I mean, some guys have big, big palettes and that. You can use a, if you, you can use glass from an old glass frame or whatever. I just find these you know not messing around with glass you know this is nice strong ceramic tile it does a job so uh, yeah that's that's what I used uh, as I say I used the AK uh, thinner but it was just what I'd got for the models and I've got some Bob Ross which is actually artist artist thinner which I was going to use them well which I still be using for models for putting weathering on uh, but I'll also use it for these uh, and I'm, I'm just it was mainly as well to see what the sheen was I didn't want a bust with a load of, you know big sh all shiny I mean that, that to me is not worth it not if you're trying to show different textures so and I say I'll be, it'll be interesting to see if the hair dries out uh, any more than that or if it stays like that to be honest with you for hair it's not that bad actually because the hair in his hair seems to be <laughs> quite shiny in a lot of the a lot of the film stills I've seen but we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so yeah we've still got the eyes to do Still got obviously glazes to do for putting different some colour tones into the flesh, uh, lips uh, around the ears, all the, all that usual stuff. Um, uh, neckerchief tonight while the rest of this is still drying out. I won't touch the laurel wreath, uh, not with while well, the oils like that. Uh, so neckerchief, and uh, probably get to work. Um, more than likely do the the undergarments rather than the caress, just because. Uh, you don't really want to be going from top down. You would, it's easier to, to to paint that, I think, and then uh, and then do this caress as the last thing uh, before going back to the face or whatever. So, guys, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. I just wanted to get that out there. It's more for the fact that you know, as I go on to different sections, I might be covering up what I'm doing, and it's just easier to show you the stages I'm at. Thanks a lot for popping along and taking a look and we'll catch each other very soon on another video. Cheers.